Echo, echo. <gasps> Hey fellas, this video continues with three more theories on the origin of language. If you want to check the previous theories, go to the link at the end of this video. Evolutionist theory. Thousands of years after, after Charles Darwin created the theory of evolution of the human being and inspired linguists to focus the origin of language in the same basis as evolutionism, it was namely August Schleicher who developed this theory. Names like his, Ernst Haeckel and Steven Pinker supported the idea that language originated from human imitations of animals mating calls. So, calls to reproduce. They claimed that those sounds were evolving through time and that they underwent a natural selection, term extracted from Darwin's theory, in which words struggle for survival, aka words and sounds that were used the most by humans, prevailed, and the less used died. And a long time this concept also applies, since from the very beginning until today, millions of languages have been extinguished and died, being replaced by a new version or a merge between languages. Evolution bases on historical linguistics or diachronic linguistics, which means no more no less than the study of those dead languages and comparing them to more modern ones, checking their possible interaction, differences and similarities, and this way studying their evolution in time. This gives base to the study of Indo-European languages. They are a very, very ancient family of languages presumed to be the first languages of all times. They are presumed to be the ones from which nowadays language were derived. Of course, after millions of years and evolution, fusion and extinction in the way. As you can see here, English comes from the Germanic origin and languages like Spanish, French and Italian come from the Italic origin. Pretty interesting. Linguistic evolutionism advocates to the principle of continuity that states that as language is a very complex process, it must have evolved little by little from the earliest relatives of humans who were the primates. That's why continuity. It was a continuous and long process. However, linguistic evolutionism was highly criticized by important linguists like Noam Chomsky, who claimed that language is something exclusive from the human being and not primates, and that it didn't take a long process of evolution. He instead argues that, at a given moment, a gene of an individual had a mutation that allowed him to process and develop language, and it was transmitted genetically through generations. Linguistic evolutionism was also criticized by the linguist Ferdinand de Saussure, who, on the other hand, questioned why to study the history of language and extinct languages that nobody uses anymore. It wasn't relevant for understanding how language works. Instead, he proposed to study a language from a synchronic basis, which means languages that exist now, studying how people use them now, since they still exist, how that language functions in our minds and then transforms into speech. Mueller Speculative Theories Back in 1861, even before evolutionary linguistics, the historical linguist Max Mueller, inspired by other authors, proposed a list of speculative theories on the origin of language. Theories with real fun names. They are the Bauwall Theory. This one proposes that language began by humans imitating the sounds that occurred in the surrounding nature, most of all animals. The pawpaw theory, or the poo-poo theory, this is the feeling theory. It states that speech comes from the sounds made by early human beings as a vocal response to feelings like fear, pain, joy, surprise, and others. Whoa! The ding-dong theory. This one claims that resonance or echo, some made by sounds of nature and the surrounding world, converted into speech later on. The yo-hey-yo -yo theory. 
The idea that language comes from the sounds made by the early humans when making physical labor when they work together. The Tata Theory This one states that by miming the body gestures with the tongue, the first speech sounds appeared. For example, waving the hand up and down can be mined by the tongue as Tata. The Lala Theory Speech emerged from playing, chanting, and so on. And finally, the Mama Theory Language came from the early sounds one makes when being a baby. If you ask me, even though the names are childish, Mueller's theories complement one another. Not only one of them all, but all of them together might have given origin to language. However, Mueller's theories were highly criticized, beginning with the names catalogued as critical and then talking about the theories as such, catalogued as naive and lacking from more information and theoretic development. It might be true, but remember this is one of the earliest theories of language origin, the first or one of the first in proposing something different from the religious viewpoint, and as naive as they may sound, they are totally admissible. Genetic origin a recent research on language pathologies and disorders presented in a British family determined that there is a gene responsible for language, the same gene that had these functions in that family. No, it is not Confetti. The gene FOXP2 was discovered responsible for speech, vocalization, and function of lungs and digestive system. It was said that the gene was the one that gave origin to language and differentiates us from other species and from previous human species. However, FOXP2 is an exclusive only in human beings. It is also content in bats used for echolocation, birds used for bird songs, and other vertebrates. This means that FOXP2 cannot be the gene that makes language exclusive from human beings, since other animals also have it. If it is true that FOXP2 is involved in language, it is also true that it depends from other genes that are also involved in the process but have not been discovered yet. So, this is it. These were only some of the many, many, many theories of language origin, a topic so debatable and controversial that two centuries ago it was banned. It was prohibited to research about the matter by the Linguistic Society of Paris. Please, remember that these are only theories. They are not definitory. Simple English advice respects every opinion. Have an open mind about the possibility of any of these theories. That was it for today, guys. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and check our other videos. Take care.